Hello, welcome to another episode of Fi Mapping. Today we're going to look at the barn owl. This barn owl. Not sure who took this photograph, but it's a great close up of the face. These are the maps we're going to use a little bit. These are some other root patterns, like the Phi Spiral we're going to use also and I kind of put a bunch of them together here so we'll have a quick investigation on the phi geometry of the owl's face so right off the bat let's see if there's a good phi rectangle in here bit awkward on the face doesn't quite jump out so that probably what it is is the whole body you can see already some basic phi relationships these are all phi scaled from each other this and all centered so if we go to the circle is the root pattern of all the shapes that we created. And is ultimately representing a square. You can see that from the whole body there. It's about like that. These are kind of Hmm. So yeah, there's definitely some phi in here. Let's try the circle pattern. And we'll go full body. see if we make that circle the size of the face which is not necessarily which is not five related to five from the body but you can see how well that works doing this stuff up here where we get this odd uh, curve up here which is hard to replicate because all of these patterns use circles and that's a, as you could just see, a combination of circles. Uh, if we try the other one, this same pattern in the Fibonacci style where it goes to the corners, make the circle the size of the face. putting the beak right, right in there. Okay, and also naturally use the classic phi spiral pattern. Go from the side of the head. full body, doing the eyes really well, obviously.
Hmm. And also, we can check out this map. Okay, let's uh, look at some of these other patterns here. This is the Phi Spiral. So, so these are just um, all the same scale or Phi relations of each other and then just moved into where they seem to fit. So that's a pretty clear one. Just reflections. Four of them all reflected. This one. just have very symmetrical faces and very distinct geometries. This is a rectangular phi line that happens to be doing this kind of thing. These are all the same one, just flipped and scaled in different ways. I think they're actually all the same scale too. So it's this shape. how it does that top part and kind of 
yeah, just a lot of sort of contours there, I guess. There's lots of different ways that they work sometimes, or multiple ways anyway. Very good. I'm doing this beak and I believe actually all of these are yeah they, they're they should all be the same from the width of the whole body which is a far relationship to the to the length or the height of the whole body also Very closely matching everything, just not at the right length. If we make it the right width, throws the eyes off. But it's hard to know exactly what you're measuring also, because the internal body here would be different than the feathers, obviously. A lot of them doing this beak-eye relationship. This one really pointing to the edges, I guess, because that's where the rectangle is, but
very good, yeah. Maybe I have too many of these. But there's so many. These are all just different ways to describe what's happening with this bird here. All derived from these basic shapes, patterns. See, those lines don't really match up. They do all of these, some of these general flow lines, but then lose it on other ones. So I guess the exercise is finding the exact perfect combination. that just amazing This diamond part, though, is fantastic. And these, um, each of these shapes that creates these things is its own phi rectangle, but they're not put together as a phi rectangle. They're just put together where they fit. You can see this whole shape is not anything phi. Very good, though. Just repeatedly marking these positions. All these different phi relationships within such a simple face.
close, marking so many major points. But there we go. That was basically a little exploration into the phi relationships of the barn owl. Definitely phi, doing a really strong mirroring thing. A lot of triangles. Triangular shapes and curved shapes, and yeah, the beak is interesting. So the owls, I think, are going to work well in general. Uh, thank you very much. That was great, great, and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will join us for the next one, and uh, take care. Be safe out there. See ya.